Hi, welcome to the module Python for Data Science. In the previous videos, we had a look at existing data types supported by Python, like int, float, bool, and str. But they do suffer from some flaws. Let us look at those problems with existing data types. Variables of these existing data types can store only a single format. For example, integers for the int data type, decimal numbers for the float data type, true or false for the boolean data type and only strings for the str data type. But sometimes it is required to have a mix of different formats of data, like storing personal information of a person. For a person, we might want to store his name, which is a string data type. We might want to store his weight, which is a float data type. We also might want to store the number of family members, which is an in data type. We want all these information to be at a single place. But if you want that, we cannot do this with the help of the variables. Now, since a variable of the existing data type can only store a single value, therefore, there will be a large memory overhead if you wish to store copious amount of data in variables. So, for example, if you want to store the information of a family in variables, then the number of variables might be small, say like 5 or 6. But what if you want to store the information of the entire town? The number of variables might go to 100, 200, even it may run into thousands of variables, which will slow down the computation process and create a large memory overhead. Also, there is absence of inherent structure in variable. For example, if you wish to store some data as a sequence, then variables are not suited for this task. So, to address the above problem, let me introduce you to two data structures in Python. First is the list and second is the dictionary. A list can store mixed type of data in a sequential structure. Whereas a dictionary can also store mixed data type but it is unordered. That is there is no sequence to it. For example, here 1 comes before python, python comes before 2, 2 comes before s. But there is no sequence between Ramesh, Sudesh and Suresh. We will discuss about each of them detail in the later videos. Thank you.